Hey everybody. So that's your traditional kind of <clears throat> upside down fire slash log cabin. Um, okay, I was going to light this with potassium pentagonite. And I thought about gunpowder, but I decided to do it with this. Why? Why this and not fat wood? Because this is a very volatile topic. At least for me it is. It's something close to my heart, and I kind of try to stay away from it, but seeing as how today's 9-11, I'm going to talk about it. Once we get this going. I don't want this fire to go out. So, I'm just making sure it's going to stay lit. Okay. So, 22 veterans a day take their lives. Why? If you've seen in combat, you know why. It takes something away from you. It takes away your humanity. You lose part of yourself. Trying to get other people who haven't been there, who haven't seen it, to understand, it's damn near impossible. There, you know, people say, thank you for your service. Okay, well, it's not about, you know, going over there and losing a limb. Or, you know, that's not what thank you for your service should mean. Your service is giving up a part of yourself for people who, when you come back here, they don't understand. They don't understand what it means, what you gave up. It sucks. You know, you literally in a combat situation, you know, in the military, you build bonds stronger than family bonds because of the intense feelings all the shit you go through yeah I'm drinking off Mike's Hard Lemonade So, where was I? Um, ADD sucks. 
So anyways, going through, you You feel, when you come back here, you feel alone. You know, a lot of people refer to stuff as PTSD, and they want to minimalize everything and put a name to everything. You know, you can't. You can't do that. You know. Yeah, everybody needs to wake the hell up, okay, and all this, you know, insanity that's going on, I don't care what party you are, a Democrat, Republican, that has nothing to do with anything. We're Americans, okay. Star Spangled Banner. That means something. All those people who, again, they were patriots. They were warriors. They fought for this country. They fought for something, the ideas of something. Same thing that our military continues to fight for. That's one of the reasons why I greatly love taking military gear out into the woods, out into the field with. To remember those who came before us, who gave up so much, who gave up that part of themselves and once you give it up, you fight every single day to get it back. Because it's not something, you know, that you can just turn on and off like a light switch and, oh, everything's hunky-dory. And No, it's not. You know, to know that any, you know, I don't want to say anything can trigger it, because that's not the case. But to know that you are no longer the same person that you were when you came back. And to have everybody think that you are that same person. And, well, I want my son back how he was or I want my husband back the way he was or you know that's that's not gonna happen that's the reason why we have the VFW you know we have that those groups for people who've been over there and fought or done things for our country. For our, them to come and have that brotherhood. You know, and with everything being on the news and them, you know, whatever side's in power, neither side's in power, because in all honesty, the blue collar worker is in power, okay, when they went and went into the Capitol and said, you know, okay, you know, they were, they were literally scared shitless, they didn't know what to do, but this country is based off of that. Literally, the hardworking Americans, blue collar people, you know, the laborers, the skilled trades people, 
Those are the ones who go off into war, who live the American dream as best as they can, give up so much, and get shit on I just, I've got serious problems with that, okay? I know I'm not even watching TV because I don't, I don't want to have nothing to do with it because everybody's, oh, you know, the 9-11. Yeah, all those people died for over some crazy bullshit. I don't care if you're a conspiracy theorist. If you're a conspiracy theorist and you think that the government went through and did it, you know, that's fine and dandy. The point of the, fa the matter is, for 20 years, we were over fighting a war. A war that said, you know, people wanted to come over here and destroy our way of life. War never affects people unless it claims your son, your daughter, your dad, your brother, your sister, you know, your, our grandparents, your son, your daughter, and just, um, you know, for our veterans, it's, not so much, you know, they don't want charity. Anybody who's actually busted their ass for stuff in life, they don't want charity. They want, you know, take the time to Take time out of your day to actually talk with people. To talk with, you know, our veterans. To actually listen to what they have to say. Not what you think they're saying. You know, it's I'm trying to give some insight into what they go through, what would make them take their lives, what I know, friends of mine, why they've taken their lives, you know, they want to be, a lot of them, they come back and they want to be the good son. They want to be the good, the good husband, the good father. You know, and when you give up that that part of your that humanity, is the only way I can explain it. Okay. You, you lose a part of yourself. You know, the realization that, damn, I took a life. Damn, you know, my, my buddy two feet from me died, you know, got blowed up. Um, did, lost an arm, and I came out of it, you know, completely fine. What makes me so special? And to come back here and have politicians minimalize it or to use you to get reelected when they don't give a damn about you or what you did 
or why you did it. You know, I love my country. And I love all of those people who have served in the military and you know I'd do anything for you guys literally you know I do things I do to try to help the way I try to help but it, at the same time I know it's not enough. It's not enough, you know, for people just to, you know, say thank you. You know, people, that age old saying of walk, walk a mile in my shoes. You know, it's, people don't even think about that anymore. People, people don't take into consideration other people. thoughts or feelings, you know, everybody's caught up in their own, in their own lives, I get that, but you know what, Chief Seattle said, we did not weave the web of life, we are but one strand in it. Usually whenever I talk about this stuff, I end up wanting to actually choke the living hell out of people. Because they don't know, they don't understand, they don't care. You know, if I could be, if I was president, 18, you're going in the military. Everybody. Male, female, I don't care if you're transgender, I don't care if you identify as being a freaking stick. You can identify as anything. Get your ass out there. Learn to be a part of something bigger. Because yeah, everybody's home life might not have been the greatest. But when you go in the military, you learn what the hell family is. Because your unit is your family. Your company is your family. You know, guys go over there. Guys and girls, I'm saying guys just as a general identification of humans. They go over there and they lose their families. How the hell would you feel? How would that make you feel? Could you come back from that and be all hunky-dory and, you know, go work a regular nine-to-five and be all, oh, life is happy and fun and dandy. Hell no. Yeah, we're dealing with COVID right now. Okay. You think that they were dealing they weren't dealing with COVID and God knows what else? Over in Afghanistan and Vietnam and World War II 
in Korea. You know, I literally think sometimes that um, I don't want to make this into a political thing. I really don't. thing I could say, I don't know, 90% of the time whenever I talk about this stuff I feel like it literally falls on deaf ears, like people don't give a damn, and you know what, it really pisses me off, why, whether I was in the military or not, that's not the issue. The issue is we do things and in life that sometimes we're proud of, sometimes we're not proud of. And it changes us. Sometimes for the good, sometimes for the bad. If I could, I would literally uh, man. Sorry I'm overall rambling, but it just there's, there's too much Politi a lot of politics need to stay out of hell, stay out of a lot of stuff. Okay. And we need to get back to being being Americans. You know. Obviously, we're doing something right. Okay. Because we got, a, 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 supposedly, we got China that wants to destroy us. We got Russia that wants to destroy us. You know, Taliban, who we were fighting against. But, yeah, we're, I'm, I'm, I'm leaving all that alone. I'm leaving all that alone. 